So the next thing is we we'll learn how to import the media into this uh, media bin. So to do that, let me show you how I arrange my media. For example, in this file, you can see this Filmora 12. You can just open it. And you can see I have the sample video that I want to import. Spend some time with yourself. And then we have B-rolls. Now, B-rolls is a combination of two things. For example, I can have a list of images, which I have here. And then I can have videos as well, which I have downloaded and imported here. So we have B-rolls as a folder. And then we have a music as a folder also. All the music that I'm going to use are housed here. The B-rolls in terms of images and videos are housed here. So you can arrange your media very easily so that you can have smooth flow during the editing process. So there are three basic ways to import your media. You can drag and drop them over here, just like you have seen, or you can click here to import the media by just clicking directly. You can import the media, navigate to wherever you have it within your system. For example, in my own case, I have it here. And I have it in this film right top. I can select any of them. I can select them and then click on open to open the media. Alternatively, the second method is you can come to the import over here. Click on import and it can take you to the same place. Just select and then you open to import it into the media bin. And the last method is you can come to file over here and just you come to open media. You can open media files. Okay, you can open individual files or you can open media folder if you want okay and you can connect also from external devices and you can open medias from all of these uh, different devices that we've highlighted recently okay so you can just go ahead and import your media in my own case i would like to import the whole file that i have shown okay oh let me just import one by one just go media file and i'm going to here you can import this i select this and say open and you can see it has just imported my video. If you want to import the remaining ones, you can just go ahead and import them. I'll go ahead and import. I want to import this file, this whole folder, B-rolls. I can just select and say open. And you can see it has just imported the whole folder as B-rolls. Okay, you can see it has just imported the whole folder as B-rolls. And then I want to import the image. Uh, the, I want to import the music. You can just go ahead, come back to the same Filmora. And then import music, select music, and then go ahead and import music as a folder. So we have everything imported. Now, let, the next thing is we can try to preview the video that before we take it into the timeline. And now to take it into the timeline, there are two methods also. You can double click or you can drag and drop the video just like so into the timeline very easily. You can do that. And you can have the option to check the resolution of the image to match to media or to keep the existing settings, okay? So you can match the media if you want. I can say match the media and then it has just imported. So you can see that it has imported the video showing its thumbnails over here and showing the media or the audio section with the audio profile, the volume profile, you can see it over here at the bottom. So this is the first method to import. And once you import it, you can see the preview of the video within the preview panel. Okay, so you can see we have the, the thumbnail view and then the, the volume profile of the audio section. And then you have the preview panel, okay? The video shown on the preview panel where you can move with the playhead just like this red playhead. You just click and move around and you can see the preview of what you are working on. So alternatively, let me undo this and try to import again using another method. You can click on this, double click, and it will show the preview of the video on this. And what I want to show you is a very simple way of importing media. And that is utilizing the in point and out point. So you can move around to anywhere you want. For example, I want to import at this point. I can come over here, click on this mark as in, mark in, okay, mark in. So this is the in point. I can now move to this point and then mark out. This on mark out. So this is uh, mark out. So I can just mark in and out and this is the location i want to import into the timeline so to do that all you need to do is just drag and drop and it's just going to import the the areas that you have just selected as mark in and mark out so if you want to uh, confirm that you can just come all the way here so you can zoom in and out of the timeline you can zoom in and you can zoom out of the timeline as well so you can be able to see the entire media that you've imported okay so this is what you have imported as against the previous method that you import everything. Now, this is the first one, zooming in and out. 
from the timeline uh, editing basics you can see now we can use this to zoom to fit if you click on this you are going to zoom everything to fit okay so this is zoom to fit and then you have this uh, audio mixer you can enable the audio mixer so you'll be able to see which track and which audio you want to test okay so by mere playing you'll be able to see the audio profile and you'll be able to know whether it it requires you to edit to to, re to reduce or to increase the sizing. Later, I will show you how to do all this in detail in the audio section. But then when you try to play, you will be able to see, yeah? So you can be able to see the audio profile and you'll be able to see the, this is the master profile, which is the general one. And then this is the video profile. You'll be able to see audio profile. Also, if you have an audio in this section, you'll be able to see the profile. And this is the video section. If you have any, you can just play and you can see the profile. Usually the velocity profile or the volume profile should stay between green and yellow and should not go into the red because that shows it is speaking. So let's have another trial. Right, so you can see the profile. Okay, so you can use this, uh, this slider to just move down or go up to increase or decrease the volume accordingly. So let's go back and continue with our basic editing. And over the next tab is if you want to do a voice over recording we've shown that you can record your voice over from here you can do basic recordings with your voice over your screen or your webcam you can record all that and if you want to do directly record voice over you can just come over here and click on this to record any of your voice over next is we have the add marker tool which you can use to add marker if during your editing process you will have a given location that you want to add another detail for example at this point i may want to add a coloration or i may want to add a text i want to just click on this to add a marker you can see i've just added a marker and you can double click on the marker to be able to put details so this is mark one you can give it another detail maybe add text and then you can put other comments as well and you can change the coloration accordingly so if you want to delete any marker you just double click on it go back to the same uh, feature and just delete the marker directly just like so so this is about markers and the next tab is is going to give you render preview if you want to preview it in a very smaller portion in a very smaller size and optimized size you can preview and then you can see how is your editing moving and over here you have the silence detection you can decide to silence a given clip okay of your choice you can decide to, to silence it or you can decide to do text to speech or speech to text. You can do all that with Filmora 12. You can do text to speech or speech to text. And then you can come to slide edit. You can click on this to start editing your slide. You can move around across to define specific locations during your editing process. And then if you want to carry out basic editing, this is auto synchronization. If you want to synchronize maybe audios, you can do this, you can do that with this. But the next, the, one of the most important features that I want to show you is the editing feature, okay, in, in Filmora, which we, can, we are going to show in, in the near future. So but this is the basic edit. This is basic edit. Once you click on this, you'll be exposed to different kind of editing uh, profile, including the basic editing in terms of video. You have audio editing, you have color editing, and then you have the speed editing. You can speed your clip by how many percent or by by which number you want by times one by times two or times hundred you can see the duration you can play around with it very easily from here but for now let's say at the video tab you'll be able to do different kind of transform you can play around with different kind of keyframes later i will show you in detail how to add keyframes and how to flip videos you can flip your video you can rotate at, uh, around an axis and you can do generally very many things like the playing with the op opacity and you can drop shadow you can enhance the uh, do auto enhancement if you want or the about you can check out other features as well like the mask feature you can check different out the ai tools and the animation tools you can play around with all this if you want right so this is on the video tab you can check on the audio tab as well you have a number of controls that you can work with for example you have the volume control you can have the sound balance control you can check on different kind of fade in and fade out. You can enable all that from here. The auto uh, doppling, the equalizer, the denoising, you can do all that from here. Maybe later I will show you how to play around with 
the reverb in cases when you have an audio that have a lot of reverb or a lot of echo in it you can do reverb or you can reduce the echo with the reverb function over here then you have color you have uh, later we'll talk about color in details but then this is just to expose you to different kind of editing features from your timeline okay so next is we have the uh, keyframes you can click on this select the, key, the, the media clip you can click to add keyframes later i will show you in detail how to add keyframes on videos and on audios and even on coloration okay so next we have the uh we have the ai matching tool you can play around with all this you can play around with the duration you can extend or reduce the duration of your media on your own or you can color match to a given clip if you have and then you can speed the, the clip okay you can click to speed a clip by you can slow it by this much you can fasten it by this much you can go back to normal and you can do fresh uh, freeze frame or you can reverse a particular clip the next control or the next feature is the crop tool okay once you click click on this you can do some basic cropping for example you can change the aspect ratio also if you want right now it's at 1920 by 1080 which is the default we have a number of other defaults as well that we've explained at the beginning of the tutorial the 4x3 the 1x1 one one, the 9x16 and 21x9 or you can do custom sizing as well if you want or on your own you can come to the cropping section make sure you are at the cropping section and then you can move over to the edge of the video you can hover over it until your cursor turns into something like this and you can click and drag around to resize it to any function or to any defined size of your choice you can see we are resizing it and once you re release you're going to see that the video is going to be resized to that particular place okay so you can play to you see you have resized it to that particular place okay so feel free to give it a try feel free to see what you can do you can also play around with it manually you can type the dimension that you want to have you can reset everything and everything goes back to normal which is what i want and you can play around with the pan and zoom feature in cases you want to play with that next is we have the text tool we have the uh, quick text this is three quick text and in quick text you have two options you have subtitles you can insert subtitles and you can insert quick 3d text if you want okay so you can insert subtitles and you can add this quick 3d depending on your choice and then we have the quick split mode the quick split mode is very important and it can help you to edit faster in your timeline during your video editing process once you click on letter c it's going to enable the quick split mode on your keyboard just and click on the letter c and you can see the quick split mode and what it does is it splits the clip at whatever point you have uh, put the dot, the dashed line and click so for example i click here and uh, i click on this and you can see it has split my clip into two later i'll show you how to do this in detail during the editing process you can see i can split multiple with just a simple click of this control okay so and if you want to go back to the normal mode you can just click on the letter v to go back to the normal mode next we have you can select a click and you can have the the audio stretch you can stretch your audio by any amount of time and then you can do the splitting with the split button uh, split tab over here or you can do command b on mac or control b on windows to be able to split your, your, your clip into two for example this clip and i want to split it at this point i can just hit on command b or i can just go ahead select it let me undo this go ahead select the clip and then come over here and click on split and it's going to split it into two just like so okay and then you can delete you can undo and you can check on the gallery where you have the toolbar uh, you can check on the toolbar where you have all the basic editing tabs or features you can easily drag and drop you can just drag it and drop it across this very timeline so you can have, be able to have quick access you can check you can have quick text if you don't want any of them you can just drag it back and you can always save to make sure you have saved everything and you can reset to back to default in cases when you want to reset and you want the default features to appear on the, on the timeline to be visible if you want to hide any you can hide so let me cancel on this and then we can come back to the editing process
So the next thing I want to show you is how to do basic editing in Filmora 12. So to do basic editing, you have a number of things, a number of features. Once you select the clip, you can do a number of things. For example, the trimming. You can do trimming. You can trim from the edge. You can come to the edge over here until your cursor turns, turns into something like this. And then you can drag. Okay, you can drag just like so, and you can see it has trimmed to this point. You can do the same on the other side as well. You can just drag until you get to this point, and you can see you've trimmed. And if you want, you can trim also within the clip. For example, if I don't want this portion of this clip, I can just move my playhead to this point, create a split. Okay, I can just select and say Command D to create a split. And then I can use my, my, my cursor at the edge of that particular clip. And then I can click to drag. Okay, I can drag until I get to the point where I don't want to, I don't want all these points. So I, once I release, you can see it covers everything. Okay, it deletes that section and covers everything. Okay, so one thing that I forgot to show you is on this timeline, on this video timeline, you have a, number, a bunch of controls. For example, you can enable or disable a track by just clicking on this. Okay, hide a track and you can enable or mute or unmute a video an audio section by just clicking you can see you have muted the audio or, or muted and you can lock a control okay you can lock a track against any kind of editing in the future so this is basically how to do basic editing if you want to split or you can do more in terms of the splitting you can just go ahead come over here select and split select or you can enable the quick cut tool or the quick split mode by just hitting on the letter C, you can just click create on your, your split at any given point. And you can go back to the, the main control by just hitting on it. You can go back by hitting letter V to go back to the main mouse setting. And you can move the clips across. You can, if you want, you can move it across just by selecting and moving it around. You can just rearrange or reshuffle the clips just like so. And then you can go ahead and snap them accordingly. Just snap. Um, you can enable. You can just select them, select multiple clips and snap. Okay. So, but in any case, if you want to do some editing, you can come over here, select the video, and then you can come to this edit. You can go ahead and do all of your editing over here. In terms of the position, you want to play around with the position. You can create keyframes. You can move directly by just if this position you select, make sure you select the clip, and then you can come over here. You can move in the x axis. Okay. Or you can move in the Y axis by just selecting and dragging to the left or right. And you can see the movement very nicely. So this is going to create keyframes for you. But later I will show you in details how to, in detail, how to create keyframes.